this TikToker, let's call him Funny Man. And one day, Funny Man decides to film himself committing crimes. Here's the thing though. Crimes are all fake. In fact, he starts a whole series called Trying to Get the FBI at My Door. Trying to get the FBI at my door? The 100. So he does things like he asks his followers to report him, and of course, the FBI ignores him. They have better things to deal with. Then he tries to call them and report himself. Why do you want the FBI to come? Because it's fun and silly? But the FBI still doesn't show up. He even makes a fake dead body and films himself putting it in his outside trash can. If that doesn't get me a visit, I don't know what will. But the FBI still doesn't show up, and they never will, because he's in Canada and they don't have jurisdiction there. And Funny Man knows this, and he knows he'll never get in trouble. Until... One day, Funny Man gets a knock on his door. And it's not the FBI, it's the police. I guess his followers had been reporting him like he asked. Apparently, many of you called the FBI to say I had boom devices in my basement. So the FBI, I guess, gets a lot of reports about this, and then they reach out to the police in his area and they ask him to investigate. So the police go to his house, and then they question him, and they see that he's just a TikToker with a weird sense of humor, so they give him a warning. Stop wasting law enforcement's time. So Funny Man agrees. He's gonna stop this trying to get the FBI at my door series. It, it's stupid anyway. So they leave and he comes up with a totally new and totally different series. Trying to get the police at my door. Trying to get the police at his door. And in this series, he does classics like walking into a local bank dressed a certain way. The comedy just never stops. But then everything changes. One day, a fan leaves a suggestion on one of his videos. Get a van that said free candy and drive it at night. And Funny Man, I guess, is like, Yes, I'm going to do that. So he goes out and he rents a U-Haul van and he paints free candy on it. And then he just drives around town. Hey kids, want some candy? And he actually does approach some kids, but they seem to not take him seriously. Now, of course, someone sees him doing all this and they call the police. So then police figure out who he is and they start investigating him. And like immediately they find his back catalog of several years worth of videos of him committing fake crimes to try and troll law enforcement. So they show up to his door with a search warrant and they confiscate his cell phones, his laptop, all his devices, any props that he used for these skits, and they arrest him and they charge him with public mischief. Now, eventually he gets released, but only on the condition that he stop posting and sharing content on social media. Yeah! And all this happened in Canada, so shout out to Canada. 